Hello everybody, my name is Mike, also known as Bear Ghost, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. This game has been recommended to me by a few of my viewers, and I've had a few messages about it uh, since I've been getting into a lot of the simulator games recently, you know, with the farming simulators and hunting games um, and so forth. Um, a good friend of mine, Ouchie, also told me about this game a couple weeks ago and said that he... Uh, um, had been playing Kerbal Space Program and thought it would be a really good addition to my channel, so I figured that I would give it a try, and I actually have tried it about a week or so ago and failed miserably, and basically the premise of this game is, is you have these pilots, like these particular three guys here, and basically your objective is to build a rocket ship, here's your little launch pad right here, and here's your vehicle assembly building. So in essence, you're supposed to build a rocket from scratch and get these guys into space. And, you know, that's pretty much the idea of, you know, behind it. So I didn't quite get that far. <laughs> so uh, basically you have a command module that you start with right here. This is where your pilots um, start out at. This is where your pilots are actually in. So by scrolling the mouse wheel up and down, you can kind of go up and down and then you can hold right click and kind of do that sort of stuff but we're gonna uh, drag this up a little bit because we're gonna want to add quite a bit of things to this spaceship along the way so we're gonna just raise this up quite a ways here just because I want to make sure that I have plenty of room for other things underneath it so basically this is where your pilots are housed in when they're taken off at launch so we're just gonna go up just to make sure we're got plenty of room here and then you've got all these tabs right up here. Like currently we are on uh, propulsion. So you've got your fuel tanks, your, uh, your engines, uh, solid fuel boosters, and then your RCS fuel tanks. You've also got command and control options. Um, these things here are your advanced a SAS modules. So basically these things are like your computer guidance programs when you're in space. And then your thruster blocks. The thruster blocks are what goes around your pod up here, so that way when you're in orbit, it allows you to actually kind of thrust. If you ever if you ever seen like Apollo 13, and they're using that little controller and they're like boosting and thrusting in orbit, and they kind of move a little bit and move a little bit. That's what those things do there. Then you've got structural and aerodynamic parts, like all of your stuff that you see like on the hangers that hold your spaceship together. You've also got the uh, decouplers. These items are what allow you to detach your spaceship during its different stages. So as soon as you take off and you burn off your rockets and thruster tanks, you can detach those and they fall back into orbit um, back to Earth and you continue to go through your different stages. You've also got winglets, which are like wings that you can put on as well. You've also got utility and scientific, which there isn't a, month, you know, a whole lot of it in there right now except for a parachute. And we all need to have a parachute uh, actually on top of this. So let's see. There we go. Now I've got it. And the reason I'm putting it on top, <clears throat> excuse me, is because that's what's going to get our pilots back to Earth if and when we ever come back, or if and when we even make it to space. Because when we detach the final piece and this starts to fall back to Earth, and we get back into the atmosphere, um, we can deploy the parachute and they will fall safely back to Earth in one piece, in essence. Decals, nothing, and then there's crew, there's nothing right now. You're automatically given three crew members you will see later on. And those are your three crew members, so if they die, they're gone forever. And then you will get three new recruits out of the academy to pilot your next spaceship. So, right off the bat, we're going to want to get, uh, let's see, we're going to need some fuel for this thing if we ever get up into space. So we need an RCS fuel tank. See, these fuel tanks carry pressurized gas propellant for RCS thrusters, which is what we're wanting. So we're going to put this thing right underneath right there. I wonder if we can actually put two of these. Oh, yes we can. So we want to make sure we have plenty of fuel. I don't know if that's too much or not, but we'll put two of those for there. And also right up here, this uh, symmetry thing, this allows you to put things around your rocket ship in all symmetrical. So that way you're not just clicking this one thing and trying to place it and then try and place it and keep it all, you know, symmetrical. You could just click up here and you can put however many you want like there's four you know six and then eight so let's just go to four for example and I can click this see and it will allow me to put four 
uh, RCS thrusters on my ship. Just like that. See? That way I've got plenty of thrusters while I'm in space. So that will allow for that to... Uh, that'll happen there. Alright, so now that we've got our two... Uh, our, our fuel tanks, we've got our thrusters here. Um, let's see, I do believe we need... Uh, let's see, we've got some fuel tanks. We've got an advanced SAS module and just an SAS module. I think just regular SAS module. Uh, let's see, whenever you choose to call it, it makes the ship stop spinning around. So I think we'll probably use just a regular SAS module for this particular ship. That way the computer can keep this from, you know, not spinning during our orbital process there. Okay, so now that we've got our computer system in there, let's uh, let's see. I think we should probably put uh, a fuel tank. There we go. So let's put a liquid fuel tank in. Oops, not that one. Let's put this one in there, and then let's put let's put one more to be safe. We want to make sure we've got plenty of fuel for this thing to get up into uh, into space there. So let's make sure we've got that. And then let's see. And then we should probably put an engine underneath that. That's what's gonna. That's this fuel's what's gonna drop down into this engine here. So we have a uh, liquid fuel engine. Let's see. This one here engine was considered another breakthrough due to its thrust. Let's see. It can deflect thrust, aid aircraft control. This one here. Um. This one here I think is for major thrust. We want to put maybe this smaller one underneath here because that's what, because underneath this is where the major fuel tanks, or the thrusters are going to be, you know, just slamming us into space. This one here is what's going to get us through the atmosphere and then we'll detach those again and then we'll use these actually when we're in space to kind of thrust around if all goes well. I don't know. <laughs> this is all speculation and hearsay right now. I'm kind of just going with it for now but let's see. Okay, so now we're at the thruster here. Okay, so we've got our, let's see, our thruster here. Uh, let's see, we should probably add in, because this is one stage. This whole thing right here is what's actually going to go into orbit, this whole piece right here, from top to the parachute down to the thruster motor. So we're going to need to add probably a decoupler uh, right there, because this is stage one, or stage three, I guess you'd say. So there's a decoupler. So now, and also every stage from what I've read on the... Uh, the forums and whatnot is every stage needs its own uh, computer guidance system as well. So let's see, we'll use an advanced uh, computer system for this one. So now we've got a regular SAS command module for this one and then an advanced for our, our next stage down here. Because in essence down here is where all of our rocket fuels and our big jet engines are going to go and then it will detach those for stage one and then stage two and then stage three and so forth. You know if you know, in essence, if all goes well. Okay, so now that we've got our computer program there, let's see, we're going to start to add in, this is going to be our main fuel thrusters, or our fuel tanks here, so let's go ahead and add, let's go one, two, three, four. Those are all of our fuel tanks that are going to hopefully get us off the launch pad and into space here, and then we'll use the larger, mo the larger rocket now to get us, oops, nope, stop that. That should be where we're at now. Looks like we're still, let's take a look at everything here. Okay, so we've got our main cockpit area with our parachute, our RCS fuel tanks, our thrusters, our computer system, our two liquid fuel tanks, our smaller motor decoupler. Um, let's see. Uh, smaller booster, decoupler, another advanced computer system, and then one, two, three, and four large fuel tanks with a large rocket so far. Okay, so um, I just actually was thinking a little bit here. I was just talking to you guys about decouplers, how I've got this for this particular stage is going to break off from this engine. I don't have one up here to, um, to actually decouple from the pod and the RCS fuel tanks. I just was thinking about that. So we're actually going to stick one up there 
because whenever we're done in orbit and we want to head back, we want to actually get rid of that part. And I didn't have a decoupler there, so that was my fault for not putting one. Okay, so uh, we are now, looks like we're actually perfectly right on the ground. I think we actually got this thing built perfectly where it's sitting right there. So now we're going to need, um, let's see. These solid fuel boosters. This is what's really going to get us going. While considered by some of the little more than a trash bin full of boom, the RT-10 is used in many space programs. Whenever the need to save cash is greater than the need to keep astronauts alive. Used with caution though. Once lit, solid fuel motors cannot be put out until the fuel runs out. So we're going to need some of these, but if I remember right, reading right, we need to have these radial decoupler pieces going around uh, let's see here um, uh, yeah so I'll, let's see if I go with four of them that should be plenty plenty of boost like that and then we'll add in four of these bad boys there if I can get them all to uh, line up there we go just like that. There we go. That looks like a pretty mean looking rocket so far. <laughs> okay, so now we've got our little brackets. We've got our solid fuel boosters. That's what's really going to take off during the actual launch process there. Okay, so we're obviously going to need to add some of those uh, winglets. So let's see. We have these guys here. Uh, we got the big ones. I think we should probably put these big ones. There we go, like that. Put them. We'll put them right in the middle, right about like that. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that should look pretty good. So I'm wondering if I should have these little ones all throughout the rocket as well. Um, to kind of help with keeping it maybe like right here on this fuel tank like that maybe huh let me see oh uh, yeah what the heck we'll we'll add some wings so let's go with we'll put them on this last fuel tank right here so let's uh... let's see we've got those wings lined up like that so we'll put these ones like that just below Oops. Let's actually go right underneath that computer system there. Okay, so now we've got the wings on our fuel boosters. We've got the wings on our fuel tank there. So in essence, this whole bottom assembly is going to get us into space if all works well. And then these are going to boost. These are our fuel containers to handle all of those. And then it will detail. And this is our computer system to get us straight up. Once we get into the atmosphere, we will detach it here, and then we'll have from this booster to here in orbit. And once we get further into orbit to where the we you know we don't have the gravity anymore, then we'll detach it again, um, and then we should be able to detach. Let's see, because we have a decoupler there. So I guess, let's see, I wonder if we need a decoupler right there too though. Because we have the cockpit, we have the decoupler, the two RCS fuel tanks, the computer system. So I'm wondering if we need a decoupler there. That way we're not hauling around all of these bigger fuel tanks too. Let me think about this a second. Okay, so between me bouncing between the forums and kind of reading basic rocket guides and stuff, I found two things that I wanted to add here and also talk about. So. On my right side of the rocket here, you guys see all these different oranges and numbers. These are all the parts that are currently on the rocket. When you highlight over it, you can actually see them light up on the ship. And these are your different stages. This is zero. Then it has your stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, five, and six. I have six, six stages to this rock, rocket currently. So um, the thing that I was reading about is they said you can actually drag and pull these to different stages. And I was thinking about it is I have this booster, which is our main rocket booster, that's going to take off, that's connected to these fuel tanks here. 
and then we also have these. I want them to all ignite in the same process. So I think if I click and drag that, we can bring that down there. So now this is, see there's my rocket boosters and my main thruster all in one launch process. So that way when I hit the ignite button, all of them are going to ignite instead of just these four taking off and then the rocket taking off and so forth. I want them all to kick off and just slam these guys in this, you know, these guys into space. And another thing is utility and scientific. Um, they were also saying that you want to parachute. If you want to salvage the stuff, you can parachute your items back down to earth. So I can probably put little parachutes. Hey, give me that back. Little parachutes. There we go on our rockets that way they can parachute and fall back down to earth safely and we can recover them and reuse them instead of obviously when the game comes out in full version I'm assuming you probably have to rebuy those again I'm not too sure but uh, by the looks of things I think we're I think we're in business here so we've got everything we need we've got all of our different stages um, we've got our main thruster program going on here. We've got our computer programs installed, couplers, boosters, rockets, plenty of fuel. And if we actually make it to space, we have our RCS thrusters and fuel tanks all situated. So I think we're good to go. All right, so I think the last thing that we need to do is I guess we will name our untitled spacecraft. We'll call it, let's see, what should we call this thing? We'll call it Bear Ghost Nation 13. <laughs> and then right up here you have your different icons for your new, your load. So we'll save it just to make sure that we're saved here. Let's see. Make sure that we're saved. And if we click load, there's our Bear Ghost Nation ship there. And then the last thing to do from here is to take it over to the launch pad. And then right up here where the little green icon is, is your launch button. So we'll take it over to the launch pad. There it is. So we are all set up here for launch. Uh, you can zoom into your rocket. You can take a look at it from all different angles as we're waiting for. I don't think there's a countdown in this game though. I think you just kind of just launch it up in hopes that everything works. But you know one good thing that I like about this ship so far it didn't fall over. I've had a few other ships that I've made about a week or two ago that at the launch they just would tip over or the scary part is is when you launch this thing and it just curves right into your <laughs> your launch program and it just explodes and these three guys down here and it looks like I have Bill Kerman, Jebediah Kerman and Bob Kerman so I have two brothers, actually all three brothers in the same ship together so hopefully they will stay alive and we'll launch them off to the moon. Alright, so basically, uh, before we launch off here, you will see this thing right here in the middle. This is our global positioning system here. Um, you have a couple of different keys that you need to uh, watch out for. Also, these guys down here, the Kerman brothers, um, they have different expressions as well, which is actually quite funny. Whenever you launch, like if there's things that are going pretty cool, they kind of smile and laugh. And if, you know, stuff's about to hit the fan, <laughs> they look like they're about to... Uh, blow out of their helmets they, they get pretty you'll want to watch those guys but down here we have my throttle you can see my throttle going up shift is to make your throttle go up control is to make your throttle go down so obviously we're gonna want to have our throttle pitched up pretty high during our launch process there and then you guys can see down here if I hit the uh, WASD so the D keys will have my yaw going right and left you can see my wings pitching right and left on the actual rocket there and then up and down, which is the W and S, is my pitch. And you can see my wings also chirping left and right there. And then you have the Q and E, which is your rolls. So all of your keys are within, within reach right there, which is pretty cool. And the last thing is to activate our computer systems, which if you hold F, then um, you can see that they're all, you know, they're trying to compensate for everything, even though they're, we're not really going anywhere. And then you can just hit T which will turn on your computer guidance programs automatically and that's all we have to do is just hit T so I think what I'll do is I'll launch and then when we get I don't know maybe halfway up into the sky there I'll activate it that way we can stay into a straight line that's all if if all goes well hopefully this thing doesn't just fire off and go straight off and explode and then we have to start from scratch again so I think with all 
uh, said and done, I think we're just about it here. So we'll go ahead and start the countdown in hopes that these guys uh, make it to space for the very first time. I'm really kind of nervous about it, and let's, uh, let's go for it. So in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and lift off engines ignite whoa okay so we're going we're going i'm gonna go ahead and turn on my computer guidance systems here uh-oh that's not looking good okay so our computer guidance systems are on we are at liftoff wow we're actually going in a pretty good straight angle here uh-oh Okay, I just detached those. We burnt those out of fuel. The parachutes have opened up. They're falling back. Okay, that scared me. Didn't really know what to do there, but our side boosters have taken off. Oh, there's our fuel tanks right there. Okay, so we're almost... I don't know if I detached those a little premature. I wasn't even paying attention to that or not, but we are gaining, let's see, a little bit of altitude here. We're going to start tilting a little bit here if we can. Oh. I think we're falling. Yep, we're falling now. Yep, looks like we're falling. We're not quite. Yep, we're going back down again. So that's not going to work here. I think I prematurely deactivated our um, boosters a little too early. So what we'll do then... <laughs> is we're going to relaunch this because that's not going to work. Okay, so let's try this yet again. Let's make sure all of our stuff is on and working. Let's set our throttle up a little higher here. Maybe go to right about there and let's try this launch one more time. Now we're going to watch the fuel tanks this time and see. Put on our computer system. Let's watch our fuel tanks this time and make sure that Detach them when needed. And we're just about out of fuel there. Okay, I detached those just in time. I'm wondering if we're just a little too heavy. Okay, we're still climbing. We're still climbing. We're almost out of fuel already. But we're still we're still climbing. We're at 36,000 feet or miles, meters, whatever the heck that thing is. We're almost out of fuel here. We're still climbing. We're doing better this round. We're gonna detach here in just a second. And okay, we're on the next stage. We're still going burn in the next fuel tank now. Oh no, I don't think we're climbing anymore. I think we're falling again. Yeah, we're falling again. Okay, so let's see. We're going to end the flight. We're going to go back to the vehicle assembly building. I think we're just running a little too heavy here. Um, okay, so let's try something. Let's try detaching this piece here. Let's uh, try this piece, and we'll try just taking that whole piece off, and then we'll try running just one RCS fuel tank with boosters. We'll try maybe, let's detach this here. Let's take one of these off. And then let's take out, no, we wanna keep that one. Let's, uh, no, actually, let's take one of these fuel tanks out. Let's shorten this bad boy up a little bit. I'm wondering if that's maybe what our problem was, is we are running just a little too heavy. Let's make sure that we're perfectly on the ground here. Right about there should be good. And then we'll take this one, oops, and connect it just like that. Okay. I think we are good. Let's try saving this again. 
And let's go back to the launch pad. So that's the only thing about this game is this is how it is. It's trial, trial and error, trial and error. So we actually were going up. We didn't explode. We didn't die. That was good. So let's try, um, let's see, settings. Let me try something because that was really, really loud. Uh, let's see, spacecraft. Let's drop that down to about 16. Let's do that to about 25. And then our UI, let's drop that down because that was really loud. I don't know if it was for you. Okay, sorry about that. I uh, My game froze up there as we were detaching everything. So by the looks of it, we now have only one fuel tank. We have one RCS fuel tank with one set of boosters now. And instead of four liquid fuel tanks, we now have uh, three liquid fuel tanks. So let's go ahead and go back to the launch. And let's see how this one works. Like I was saying, this game is all about trial and error. So we'll see... Um, how this little ship works out this time. Maybe I was running a little too heavy. Let's check all of our wings. All of our stuff is good. Let's try our electronic system. Okay, here we go. And I also turned down the volume a little bit. It was, I don't know about you guys, but that was really, really loud. So, all right, and here we go. Ah, much better. Okay, we'll turn on our computer systems. There we go, now we're straightening out a little bit. Our fuels are all burning at the same time, we're good. Looks like we're making some pretty decent altitude here. Oh, we had a little bit of a stutter there, but we're good. We're good. We're going to detach in about three, two, one, and detach. Those guys will parachute back down to Earth. Our main thruster is now boosting us up. Okay, we're still gaining some pretty decent altitude here. We just want to make sure that we're not dropping. That's one of the things that we want to make sure that we're not... Uh, not dropping here. Nope, looks like we're still dropping again. Yep, we're falling back down to earth again. Okay, so let's uh, end the flight. We'll go back to the vehicle assembly building and then we'll take a look and see what possibly we could do different as to why we're uh, not launching properly here because we're continually falling back down to earth uh, so let's see, let's take a look at this here. Okay, so I think what we're going to do then is we're going to take these wings off. Let's see, we'll take these wings off. We'll take these boosters off. We'll take these pieces off. And then we'll try and maybe dropping it down to three. So let's go up here and change this to three. Like this. And then we'll put our solid fuel boosters on there now. Just like this. There we go. And then we'll get our parachute things back installed again. And then we'll go back and then we'll get some more of these uh, these winglets put back on. On these things like this. And then we'll put some more back up here. But we're only going to do three. I think I was overkilling everything with four and all the fuel tanks and all that sort of stuff. I don't know though. Maybe that's what our problem is. Okay, so we'll put that like that. Okay, so let's save it again. Let's go back to launch. And let's try this again. Let's see if we can't get ourselves up here and get into space for once. All of our stuff is working, and let's go for it. Oh, we need to turn on our little computer guidance thing, and we're starting to tilt a little bit already. Okay, we're leaving launch. Very nice, looking good so far. We're staying a little bit on target, a little bit better this time. And we are out of fuel now. Detached, our main thruster has now kicked in. We're still making some decent progress here. 
We're still climbing. Nope. And we're falling back down again. Ah, we're still running real heavy here. Alright, so there's something that we're missing here. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's end the flight again. Let's go back to the vehicle assembly building. And I'm wondering... Let's see... Oh, that's what happened. Our rocket didn't save. This thing should be down here. There we go. Now that I wonder if that's what's been going on before. I wonder if we should put our stuff back. It didn't save our rockets down there for launching all at the same time. Okay, let's save this again. Let's go back to launch. I guarantee you that's what's going on is that we're not launching everything at the same time. It it took it back off. So let's try this again. Okay, let's turn our computer systems on. There we go. Now we're going more in a straight line. There we go. Now we're really screaming with altitude here. Okay, we're almost out of fuel again, so we're going to go ahead and detach in three, two, one, and detach. There we go. Okay, I think we're... Yeah, we're still climbing at a pretty, pretty high rate here. I want to start to angle a little bit, but let's see, we're going to turn our computer systems off a little bit. Kind of... Oh, we're falling again. Yep, we're falling again. Okay, so something still isn't uh, working right here. Let's go back to our... And like I was telling you guys, this is the part of the game where if you're not successful that you have to just kind of keep going over and over and over and over with it again to find out why you're not being as successful as you should be um, with this build here. So let's see if there's anything we can look over and change. Alright, so I've made a couple of minor minor tweaks by just moving these up a little bit. Um, but really nothing too major because I'm really... This thing should actually be operational. So let's go ahead and save it again. Make sure that our rocket is in fact um, attached here and make sure that we're actually all operating on the sixth stage okay it looks like everything's good to go so let's go ahead and make sure we're saved go back to our launch and let's try this for what the fifth time now <laughs> all right let's give it a shot Activate our computer systems. And detach our fuel tanks here. Okay. Looks like we're not quite getting there again. Nope, we're falling. Nope, we're still... Nope, we're falling back to Earth again. Yep, we're falling back to Earth again. Okay, so... Let's see. Something's just not given here. So I'm wondering if we need to... Let's get rid of those. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of these brackets. Okay, so something's not quite getting us up there where we need to go. So let's go back to our, let's go with four. You know what, we're gonna try something here. We're gonna go all crazy with this bad boy. We're gonna go with six of those. And then we're gonna go with six of these. Like that. And then let's go to those and then let's get some wings going on here there we go now we want this main thruster to go down here as well okay let's try saving this and let's try this now that we've got some more thrust let's see if this is what our problem is all right here we go activate our computer systems getting all wobbly now. Okay, we're 
getting up there. Attached all those. Our other thrusters got it now. Oh, we're still climbing pretty decent here. We're still climbing pretty decent. Oh, we're slowing down. We're slowing down. Oh, we're still... Nope. Nope, and we're going back down again. Okay, so it seems to be the second phase here. We're not quite getting enough to keep, to keep us going. So I'm wondering if we need... Well, shoot, we've got six boosters down there. It's almost like that motor down there just isn't quite enough to get us going. So let me try something again. Let's take these off. Let's take these off. Let's take those off. I'm wondering if we can attach more of these... Let's try dropping this down to maybe three. Let me try something here. Let's try three of these, and then can I connect? No, those have got to stay underneath there. So I was hoping I would be able to attach maybe this thing. Okay, so that's that's where we're having issues there. Um, is with this booster here. So let's see. We got way up there with these things though. So let's go with eight of them this time. What the heck? Let's go for it and see what happens. Maybe we just need more boost. Getting up there. Trial and error. That's what this game's all about. Trial and error. It's almost like they're not quite fitting, like there's too many of them there. Yep, it's not quite letting us put that many of them there. There we go. Alright, now we've got eight of these bad boys on there. Let's go ahead and connect these back on. Let's get ourselves some wings here. Let's go with four wings. Like that. Or not, I should say eight wings, more or less. Let's try saving it. Let's go back to launch pad. Now we've got eight boosters to get us up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Turn on our computer systems because we are already kicking off to the side very early. more <laughs> we must have accidentally have sold our rocket down underneath because we no longer have a rocket down there so let's end the flight let's go back to the launch assembly I think what happened is is all of these took our rocket away or something okay so let's take these back so obviously that's not going to work either um, let's go with Okay, there's got to be something else we're missing. Maybe we need to take one of these away. So let's take one of these fuel tanks away. Let's go back up to there. Let's go with three of these again. Uh, you know what? We're going to go with four. Just to be safe. So let's go with four of those. We'll go with four boosters here. And then we'll go back to putting our parachutes back on there again. And then we'll go back to putting our our wings here. Maybe we'll go with these wings instead. See if that makes a difference or not. There we go. Let's try saving. Let's try this again. Okay, take six or seven. <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay. Turn on our computer systems here. We're not getting all the wobbling like we were before. That's a good sign. We are, in fact, turning for some reason. Not exactly sure why we're turning here. But we're out of fuel. Attach those. 
Now we're starting to straighten up a little bit, even though it's probably going to burn way too much of our fuel and altitude here. See, we're kicking way off to the side now, and we're just more going at a horizontal shot, and we're going back down yet again. Okay, so we're really struggling here on getting this thing up and running. So let's take those off, because maybe that's what our issue was. Maybe we're using too heavy of wings. So let's try that. And let's try this here. And see if maybe this was what our issue is. Oh, and our rocket went back to the fifth stage again. So maybe that was another issue of it. All right, let's try this again. Here we go. Looks like we're going in a nice... Oh, we're starting to lean off to the right again. But we'll turn on our computer systems. That should straighten us out. Okay, now we've got them all burning at the same time. I wonder why it reset again on us. Maybe that's what our issue was the first time around. Okay... We are running out of fuel to detach. Okay, those have detached. And we're still climbing, but looks like we're starting to slow down again. We're not quite just getting. It's like this booster here just isn't quite enough to get us up there. Nope, we're starting to slowly fall back down again okay so we are having some technical difficulties here as to why we're not quite getting up into space for our very first time here all right so let's disconnect that let's put let's go back to our original assembly here let's put that back in see I wish that these motor these boosters here you could put more of them because that seems like that's really what's causing our issues so I'm wondering if maybe we can go four boosters up here. No, I got a better idea. Let's go three boosters up here. And then we'll go four boosters underneath like this maybe. Like this. Let's drop those down a little bit further. Right about there. Just like that. Okay, let's get our liquid boosters here. Let's put the three up here like this. Hey, it didn't connect. Oh, it's because the wings are in the way. Okay, let's get rid of those wings real quick. Okay, let's put these guys right about... Oh, come on. Right about there. And then we'll go with the four underneath. Nope, those are going to hit each other. So let's try moving these guys. Let's slide these guys around like that. And then we'll put our liquid boosters back underneath right about there. Let's slide these guys down a little bit, though. There we go. Okay, so now we can put our chutes on that and our chutes on that. And then we can go back to putting our wings on these guys. And then we'll put the wings on these guys. Actually, we'll put our wings on this thing. There we go. All right, let's save it and let's try this thing. Let's see if this thing makes any difference. All right, here we go. vehicle assembly building so we just lost all of our pilots so that's obviously not going to work let's take back to the drawing board here uh, we're definitely missing something here and I'm just not quite sure what the deal is as to what we're missing here um, let's see our motor needs to be going back down there as keeps going back maybe that's another one of our issues there All right, let's uh, let's go back again. Cause like I said before, it's just this one booster section here that's not quite getting us where we're needing to go, and we can't connect this anywhere else to help us out. That's the problem that I'm having here. Wait, I've got an idea. Let's try this here. Let's bring this up a little bit. 
I wonder if I can put these guys... Oh. That's not going to work because those boosters are dropping down. See, if I put those on like that, these boosters are going to be boosting right into this thing, which... Well, shoot, you know what? They obviously are letting us put it there for a reason. What the heck? Let's try it and see. If not, then we know we could just take it off. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it was uh, blocking our nozzles there. So let's go back. And let's remove these guys. And let's make sure our motor is still there. Okay, we're good. Okay, so we're going back up again. It's just I think that this one booster right there is what's causing us issues. We're just not getting enough boost to get up into space here. that and it looks like we're still climbing a little bit here but it looks like we're slowly slowly about to head back to earth yet again okay well for whatever reason we are not getting off that second stage it's like we just don't quite have enough boost here okay so we are back and I have completely rebuilt my project here back to square one again um, it's basically the same design I just tweaked a few little things by moving a few of the wings um, a few of the boosters um, I actually watched a uh, tutorial video and somebody built something very similar to this exact same almost identical to say and they actually got to space with it so I'm not too sure as to why this one's not working so we're gonna go ahead and give this one a shot and see if we can finally get up there so let's go ahead and uh, let's give it a go okay, so we're gonna activate our computer systems here and we're just gonna let this roll ah you know what I know exactly what our problem is I just thought of this let's go back to relaunch if you guys pay attention to our throttle down there, my throttle reset back down. That's what our problem is. I guarantee you, I just noticed that. Let's try relaunching again. Okay, let's put on our computer systems here. I guarantee you that's exactly what happened. The throttles were down, so that means we probably could have been in space already. Okay, computer systems are on, throttles full. We're gonna detach our fuel tanks here. And clear. Now our throttle. There we go. We're still climbing at a good rate here. Okay, I'm gonna start to kind of tilt this thing just a little bit. We'll put our computer systems back on again. Oh, we're still climbing. We're still climbing. Put our throttle up. Oh, we overheated a little bit. I'll drop the throttle a little bit. Oh, we're still climbing, though. We're at 5,000. We're getting there. We are getting there. We're still climbing. Okay, so I'm going to try and angle us a little bit more. We're still climbing, though. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. <laughs> Look at our guys' faces. <laughs> They're happy. They're like, yay, you only killed us once and have tried this, you know, 10, 15, 16 times. Uh, the only problem I'm having is, is I'm already half burned my fuel and I took off those extra fuel tanks when I first built my ship. So I'm getting a little concerned with uh, running out of fuel here. Um, there's our spaceship there. You can actually hit M and take a look at your map here. And I'm running very, very low on fuel here. I'm getting a little concerned on if we're actually going to make this or not. Um, 
Yeah, we're just about there. <laughs> My goodness. We're getting up here, but oh, we're burning our second fuel tank now. Okay. Whew. I thought that was a total of all fuel tanks. Okay, so that was our first fuel tank. We're still burning, burning good heading up here, guys. I think we might actually just about make it. We're still climbing very, very good here. Let's take a look at our uh, our map here. There's our there's our Earth. There's where we currently are. I'm not sure if there's a whole lot we can do. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're we're still climbing very well. We're about to burn through our second fuel canister here. This uh, Bill's getting a little worried for some reason. Bob's a little on edge. Jebediah is still having the time of his life. I'm not too sure why these guys are getting so nervous. We're still climbing at a good rate here. Um, yeah, we're uh, still making some pretty good progress here, though. We're just about there. We're about to burn through our second fuel tank. Oh, there we go. We're st looks like we're doing it, guys. I think we're just about there because we just detached our last fuel tank that wasn't burning there. We'll turn off our computer guidance systems here. Okay, we'll turn these guys back on. It looks like we're still climbing. Yeah, we're still climbing. In sp oh, no, we're starting to fall here. Starting to fall. There we go. Oh, we're starting to fall, though. Nope, we're climbing again. We're climbing again. We're burning a lot of fuel. We should have detached that a lot sooner. We're getting up here, though. We're burning a lot of fuel. I had two fuel tanks here before, so I'm hoping that taking away that one doesn't hurt me too much. Oh, there's our apex there of where we currently are, where we took off. There's our spaceship. Okay, I'm a little concerned though. We're already halfway through our fuel tank here. Okay, we're gonna we're still climbing though. We're <laughs> we're up here a ways. We're getting I'm a little nervous though about the uh, the fuel situation down there. I'm hoping that we're in space enough to where it will it will pull us in once this last fuel tank will detach here in just a second. And we're just about out. Just cross your fingers. See, that didn't work out too well because we just now took away our boosters, our thrusters down there. So now we have no way of thrusting around at all. Oh, see, we can control it, but we have no way of controlling. We should have put another coupler, I think, down there. But we're still going, though. But we just have no way of thrusting anywhere now. So, unfortunately, this is going to be an end flight because uh, <clears throat> right up here is our detat or our coupler underneath. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I'm thinking that we should probably have another coupler right about here. Let's see. Because then what happens is we can decoupler that and then we should still have the boosters there. That way we can boost around with that. So I think we'll put another coupler there like that. Oh, see our engine went back down to here yet again. Okay, so let's try this again. I think we're actually onto something here, guys. Um, we made it up there actually pretty good. I think that's what our problem was the whole time is our thrust. I wasn't even doing my thrust the whole entire time. So let's go back and let's make sure our throttle is put back up to right about here and let's go for it. Okay, we'll let it kick off just a little bit, put on our computer systems about now. Okay, we're going to detach our uh, first fuel fuel pods here and clear okay we're 
Good. Those things are parachuting back to Earth, <clears throat> even though we're still at Earth. Destination to the moon. Looks like we're overheating a little bit. We'll drop our throttle down just a notch. Okay, it looks like we're doing doing pretty good here, actually. We're doing good. Throttles up high. Computer systems are registering okay. We're still climbing fairly well. We're about to burn through our first fuel container. And fuel container one is out. Now on fuel container two. We're still heading up with some pretty good altitude here. Oh, what happened? Looks like we just lost something back there. I don't know what that was. Okay, so I want to start, I want to tilt a little bit more than this. About right there should be good. Okay, let's check our map here. There's where we currently are. And there's our apex of where we're currently going. On the side of the planet Earth there. We're still climbing at a good rate here. We're about to burn through our second tank of fuel here, our liquid liquid fuel. We're almost making almost like a, a sideways horizontal thing going on here though. We're not climbing, I don't think, nearly as fast as we were before. I think I tilted that way too much. No, we're actually climbing a little bit better now. Okay, good. We're on our last fuel tank here before we kick this off. Yeah, <clears throat> I tilted it just a little bit more, so we're actually climbing. Oh yeah, look at that. We're climbing a lot better now. There we go. Now we're making some pretty good progress. So we're about to detach our final fuel, liquid fuel canister here. Looks like Jebediah and Bob are having a good time. Bill is still wigging out. Bill seems to be the pansy of the group. It seems like he's always wigging out about everything. Okay, so our computer systems are working very well. We're about to lose one of them here on our next stage. We're just about out of fuel, and then we're going to detach that coupler, and then it will be just our orbital pod that we're going to use. So hopefully everything works out fairly well. We're getting up there. We're getting up there, and we are now out of fuel. Detached, and our next rocket is now off. All right, guys. <clears throat> we're going to burn this one to get us up there even more. We're still climbing. Let's take a look at our map. Oh yeah, we're looking good here. Yeah, look at that. That thing's climbing a lot. Okay, we are 20,000 miles, I guess, from home. There's our little, <laughs> there's our launch station way down there. There's our last liquid fuel tanks we just detached burning down into the ocean to splash into the water out of harm's way. I think we did it, folks. Let's give ourselves a round of applause here. I think after an hour's worth of recording, <laughs> I think we finally made it into space. We're just about to burn out of fuel here. Oh, yeah, look at that. I think we're just about to get pulled into... There we go. We're working it. I think we're doing it. Okay, we're just about out of fuel, and then we'll detach, and then we have our, our last little liquid thrusters. There we go. So now we should be able to... Yeah, see, we're still climbing here, but I'm afraid if I hit space again, that uh, we're going to detach, though, so I won't hit space just yet. So we're just going to just kind of let these guys float around like this. We're actually still climbing, believe it or not. Okay, so we're we're still climbing. Oh, there we go. I'm assuming we're supposed to be maybe aiming for that yellow dot on the on the little globe map down there. Oops. Oh, let's get it lined up like this. Well, this is kind of difficult to do. 
Oh, we're getting a little bit off course there. There we go. That should be okay. Let's take a look at our map here. Oh, yeah. Even though we're... Let's see, are we dropping down a little bit? Can't quite tell. Let's take a look at our... No, we're still climbing. Okay, so we're, we're being pulled into space now. We're in space, folks. We did it. We've got these guys in space now. Okay, so... Not too shabby for my very first video, very first time at trying to do this, but you know what, though? It's a... Uh, we're at 90,000 miles now. We're, we're making very good progress here. Now I just gotta figure out what the next step is. <laughs> now that we've got them into space, there's our untitled spacecraft because I rebuilt it and forgot to rename it. And there's our apex there, so we're just about to crisscross right over it right now. Let's get right back onto our track here. Just like that. We're actually starting to drop a little bit here. Yeah, we're actually dropping quite fast now. Yeah, so, all right, well, this is the end of our uh, very first Kerbal Space Program. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time. We are now descending back from space. The Kerbin brothers are about to splash in into the water for the very first time. I didn't know really what else to do in space, <laughs> so I figured I'd add this extra bonus clip here just to show you guys roughly where we were at in space and where we're heading now. There's our little pad right there that's about to splash down in the water you can see near my cursor. Open up our parachute. Just like that. You can hear where our... That was our liquid fuel tank and our boosters that just detached and fell into the ocean. The Kerbin brothers are all happy. I'm not exactly sure what we were supposed to do in space, but uh, this was a pretty good trial video, I have to say, for the very first time. Uh, we'll see. I'll watch some more tutorials and see exactly what we're supposed to do in space. If like you're actually supposed to land somewhere or get somewhere, I'm not too sure. But we at least finally got to space, and it looks like we got the Kerbin brothers home safely and look at them they're jumping with joy down there they're happy we made it i hope you guys enjoyed it we'll see you next time